I mean, certainly there's a huge amount of speculation as to how the series might end. I mean, do you troll these websites just keeping an eye on whether or not that your best kept secrets have, have made their way <laughs> into the public domain? I mean, would you change your plot lines if you discovered them that uh, someone somewhere had guessed as to your conclusion? You know, I, I would not. Um, I did look at some of the websites and read the discussions going on and the people talking about theories and uh, putting forward guesses as to where books was going and what some of the secrets that I was hinting at were. And many of the theories were completely off base and wrong, but some people got it right. And that's when I really wrestled with the issue in like 1999 and 2000, 2001. Okay, these people have figured out something, should I now change it? And I decided that way lay disaster, you know. I'd, I'd laid in clues and things that pointed to a particular thing. And if I now changed it because one person in a thousand had figured it out, uh, the new solution would not be satisfactory uh, because the clues point in another way. It would, be, it would be a cheat in a sense. But what do you do then? Do you change it and come up with something goofy and outlandish that you haven't led the, you haven't done the, the foreshadowing for, that you haven't laid the foundation for, just in order to surprise people? I mean, sure, I could have like aliens come down and that would certainly <laughs> surprise the hell out of everybody. No one is predicting that, but uh, <laughs> it would ruin the series. And I, th I think some writers do that. And I think that's always mm. a mistake. Yeah. You know, if you've planned your book that the butler did it, and then you read an internet, someone has figured out that the butler did it, and you suddenly change in midstream, and it was the chambermaid who did it, mm. then you screw up the whole book because you get these this foreshadowing early on, and you've got these little clues you planted. Now they're dead ends, and you have to introduce other clues, and you're retconning. It's a mess. We hope to kind of avoid the expected, and Jon Snow has always been the hero, the one who's been the savior, but it just didn't seem right to us for this for this moment. The the show um, the show is the show, and the books are the books. Uh, there are places where the two are going to diverge, and uh, they, they are going to diverge. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, once again, go back and make the chambermaid do it instead of mm. the butler did it because because of something that David and Dan did in the show. And if and if there are indeed at the end there are differences, well, so be it.